All right, next one we got is Cowboys can't manage time. This was an actual headline, like in Dallas. Like I, I pulled it. Fucking some of these headlines. Be. Some of these headlines I make up. Some I find uh, local sports writers that I follow on Twitter, and I pull headlines from their articles that, that kind of make more sense than what I can come up with. I'm not really creative genius. I just like to talk. Um, um, so Cowboys can't manage time here. I mean, it's all good fun, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't the last play of the game though they they I've had so many penalties look yeah i mean so many penalties but i'm not gonna blame i don't want to blame anything but let's just jump in here we watched this game me and vance did at his house you can every time the dallas got something rolling here here comes a flag yep the laundry was dirty if, you, the if you watched that game and if you really sat down and watched it in the trenches <sighs> Nobody's blocking Michael Parsons. I'm just saying nobody's. And when nobody's he did blocking. get blocked, it was it was a hold. There's they literally showed times. a video of right behind where Jimmy G checked it down, and the lineman has his th- hand right on Parsons' throat. I mean, just like shoving him. I saw that. I remember that. No flag on that. You know, yeah. Michael Parsons was getting held almost every other play. The dude's a beast. That's like our bright spot right now, uh, other than the, the clear depression of every Cowboys fans out there. But time management, I don't know who the fuck called down to snap that ball before the two-minute warning. Um, I was visibly upset about that. I did not want that to happen. If it's Mike McCarthy's call, I mean, Vance brought up a good point. It's two or three different people that could probably step in and say, hey, we're not going to snap it. Even Dak on the field could say, hey, Mike, here's all the calls coming through. Mike could easily be like, hey, QB draw, 14 seconds, not Well, that's not not what we're talking about. We're talking about the the, the snap before the two-minute warning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the snap before the two-minute warning was crazy questionable. Like, Dak could have easily just been like, why are we doing this? That Everything in that game from the two-minute warning snap on showed Dak's inexperience. Well, and the, 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 the one play after the fake punt, like, what the fuck are you doing there? Like, Yeah, they get so the they fake punt, and then as... they don't do anything with it. They punt the ball away after the fake punt. I mean, punt. how many seconds like... went off on that one, too, though? Like, just right. – overall time and then i don't know i mean people talked about it in the fa- it was like if you get caught with your punt return unit on there you can run a play as your punt unit and you know gain some yards off of it but the niners were in defense so they were just standing there like okay what the fuck are you guys gonna do with the punt team on the field <laughs> and then you know we had to run the offense on and snap a ball with no time left really so that was a fucking joke I'll say i don't this. i don't I don't hate on the call with 14 seconds. That's just me. You're a bad special teams coach if your punt unit doesn't at least have one to two offensive plays built into it for that exact situation. I guarantee you Chiefs have one. Bills probably have one. All these teams have one. It's just the the inexperience on the Cowboys part. Like the 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 draw play should have had a 911 option with it. Right? You know, if if you can't snap the ball, you, two seconds is an automatic runoff on a on a spike call. So if you get down to two seconds, you got to be yelling nine one one. You got to get that ball out, and we got to throw the ball. Dak should not have tried to spike the ball. I think if he, the ref clocked the ball with one second left, should have been a nine one one call. Like Dak should have been after he got bumped, should have been screaming nine one one. And as soon as I got that snap off, hail mary to the end zone. That's what I was talking about at uh, to him some other guy. Uh, why didn't like you the ball? This clock was stopped before that. He they had what? What's the play clock in the NFL? Thirty five seconds, forty seconds. It's like 25 with a snap, 40 seconds with a timeout. Okay. So, but they had plenty of time for Dak to get in the headset and say, hey, if you run the draw, you get up there, you look like you don't have enough time, then, you know, we send the receivers out on like basically a Hail Mary anyway, because that's what you're going to do. You're going to just throw it to the end zone. They're playing the pick a fence back there on the end zone. They got eight guys standing back there. So, why don't you just snap it from there? You're not going to, the three man shouldn't get home. Cowboys fucking stink, so they probably does get home. But just send your receivers down the field. I don't see why that wasn't even the – why were you trying to spike in the first place? That's what I want to know. I like – the draw is not a bad idea. If he would have went 10 yards and went down, we would have been able to clock it, get a play call in. But the fact that they didn't have what Vance was talking about, that's what's just fucking crazy. Yeah, you probably, fact, if if you're 15, running the clock down, you always got to have a 911 play in there. Dak ran like 15 to 20 yards, slid, gets – you know, plowed over by the ref and still can't. 
The ref should have the ball. You gotta, you gotta the, ball. the ball but to the if ref. You look at the angles. That ref was so far back, and of course they're gonna they're gonna defend their guy for being that far back from the play because he's got to see everything. But it's insane, dude. I don't uh, so Boy, much Aikman, talent on the team. Boy, and we said they use. they used uh, they didn't use CD Lamb right either. CD Lamb. They didn't use point. anybody right. <laughs> Like, if you're getting single covered out there, like, uh, throw it up. Give your guy a chance. CeeDee Lamb was drafted fucking in the first round for a reason. The dude's a ball hawk. He will go get the football. And then they come out later that Zeke's playing on a torn PCL. Why? Uh, Pollard is just Pollard's better. Game. He's quicker. He's better. Is, is Zeke done? He just needs I'll, to go to being a power back. Like I don't think Zeke is done two. because they, as long as they have Pollard on his rookie deal – they're they can kind of eat Zeke's contract into like a dual back contract. So the his money is actually worth it having Pollard on the roster. If they didn't have anybody else on the roster, his money wouldn't be worth it. But with Pollard behind him, they can technically be like, that's a dual running back contract. Yeah, but they don't use Pollard. I think next year they will. I think next yeah, year yeah, this will allow Mike McCarthy to make a fucking decent decision about yeah, this. Yeah, because I mean Zeke Zeke is three plays and then he's got to put on an oxygen tank. <laughs> like it's it's yeah. been that's and been going yes, on he does tap out year. like i'm not gonna i don't he does tap out I, and that's been going on since his rookie year that's not nothing new zeke is dead. like <laughs> zeke has always been three plays and then he's putting on an oxygen mask the backup's coming in who was it when you when zeke first got was it Derek mcfadden that was back there the first year zeke was there i don't remember somebody was back there and it's like this every time he was some veteran was in, oh uh Oh my God! You would ask me that, dude. I mean, we had Alpha Morris for a year. We had a uh, we did have McFadden Alpha from the Raiders. Morris, yeah, 